radiotoday.co.uk At the Radio Festival. I'm here with John uh, from GMG Radio. John, you've just done a, a one-to-one with the bosses. How did that go for you? Oh, well, fine for me. You know, <laughs> I didn't get any difficult questions, so uh, I was just allowed to pontificate as I normally do, so... <laughs> That was pretty good. And you were talking about the, the rollout this month of uh, Smooth nationally. Yeah. Um, how is that going uh, three weeks in? Well, we're pretty good. Uh, I'm just saying Lynn's not very well today, Lynn Parsons, so we're a bit concerned about that. Um, but, you know, that'll only be a, a couple of days uh, of a problem. But, uh, yeah, at the moment it's, it's all working up to when Simon Bates arrives in January uh, and then we'll get the true sense of how the station's going to sound, you know. You mentioned about keeping those um, some of the regional presenters that you've had on to not lose listeners in those regions, mm. and then uh, the strategy is to uh, look at that again over time, and, this, and, the, and, and it will evolve. Um, how do you see it evolving, and uh, you know who, what are the kind of people that you want to get onto your stage? Well, the truth is, as I said in the session, no one's ever done this before, so I can't put a time scale on it. I've, we just got to say that you know we do want this to be a big national radio station. Therefore, we need to build it as big as we can. Uh, you know, I also said that you know, national radio presenters weren't national radio presenters till they worked on a national radio station. So I think we'll grow our own national radio presenters as well. Do you see yourself as a competitor to Radio 2 or as an alternative? Well, I see everyone as a competitor. That's the nature of our uh, game, you know. Every, you know, you, you fight for every listener. So the BBC is a competitor. Uh, our other commercial radio colleagues are competitors, but that's fine. That keeps everything healthy, you know. What do you take away from this conference and some of the sessions you've attended? I think it's been really good today. I, I thought the, the, the highlight was to, uh, Chris Evans and Timmy Mallet, uh, and, and how unusual to see Chris defer to Timmy, uh, which uh, I think caught everybody out. Uh, but that was a that was a, a fantastic session. Um, it's like he just exploded his head on the stage oh with man. ideas, wasn't it? What a creative guy, you know. And um, uh, I really enjoyed Mark Goodyear's conversation with Graham Norton. That was incredibly funny as well. Um, uh, the the local radio session this morning was really good. Um, it's been a good festival, you know. I think um, Tim Davies done a great job in chairing the committee. Um, the dinner was fantastic last night uh, in a great location uh, it's really moved everything up uh, a gear um, I think we just need to look at the scheduling you know because these breakout sessions like what I was doing means you have the audience you know so I think we just need to signpost them a little bit better but overall uh, I think the festival has been a really uh, positive improvement good to see Ashley on the stage for the first time yeah well. it's good yeah, great to see every you know guys from Bauer. You know the guy who runs Bauer. I'd never seen him before. You know, and that was, that's great to see these guys turning up for these things now, uh, and showing that there is a vibrant, positive commercial radio uh, organisation. Okay, thanks, John.